Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Uh, in this video I'm going to first let's show you I have uh, customized the form kit theme. As you can see I have a different uh, color for the button also the corner, the border radius is uh, changed and the same on the register. Now you can go on the form kit and customize your theme, uh, the theme in your needs. Okay. Next, what I want is the when we register or log in right now. So let's log in. I think I'm not logging here. Yeah, no. When we log in, I want to go to dashboard. So let's say John at do.com at do.com and add the password. Right now, we are logged in. So if I go to dashboard, yeah but we stay on the login page the same thing for the register and then also let me just open the vs code here for example let's open the login first login view i'm going to move the interface in a separate file and just import the login form type okay as i told you first we use the form kit to reduce the code here then i'm going to move this in a separate file also i'm going to move this logic in a separate file so we are going to have a very clean uh, page here component so let's open the source directory and in here i'm going to create a new file which is going to be inside types directory and the name of the file is going to be index.ts and here, let's copy this uh, interface, uh, cut this one, and I'm going to export interface login form. And then in the login page, we can import that by saying import. We need to specify that we are going to import a type. So import type uh, login form. Sorry form from at slash types like this and login form yeah because I need to save this and now we are good let's save this and let's do the same thing also for the register so let's open the register and cut here say export paste that in save on the register now let's import that type so import the type register for from types and we are okay let's save and let's try to if it's working so i'm going to refresh on the dashboard i'm going to log out and go to register and just Type something here. Okay, add the password, which is going to be correct. And let's say register. Okay, now if I go to dashboard, yeah, we are registered. So this works. But let's also do that. So when we have a success, register or login, I want with the navigate on the dashboard so i'm going to say router and import the router from the router here so if i go we have the router directory and here we have the index ts we export here default router so let's say router which we imported up I, up here say router dot push and we want to push the slash dashboard like this save and let's copy and let's do the same thing on the login paste it here we need to import the router also in here let's save and let's try now let's come here go to login say john doe dot uh, com sorry add the password 
Hit login. Uh, yeah. John at the password. Okay, so why if I go to dashboard? Yeah, we are here. So let me just check again. I said dashboard router push and the same thing on the register okay let me just go in here stop and start again the dev and let's try let's go to login let's say john at dot dot com add the password and let's say login and now we are direct here okay we can log out we can uh, go to register and say tony at at uh, email dot com add the password and let's say register so here and we redirected back the dashboard okay i think we are good now one more thing here well, let's go to dashboard and here we try to get the user also for the logout we created this constant for user so instead of something like this let's create also a type for the user and i'm going to say export uh, interface I'm going to name it a user and this is going to have the ID now the ID is going to be number you can change in your needs but I'm going to say ID email also name let's say name which is going to be a string and the email also the email is going to be a string so when we get a user from the backend, I want to have the ID name and the email. You can add also the date, but I'm going to leave it like this. And then on the dashboard, instead of something like this, we can say uh, const user to be equal with ref, which is a type of uh, user, which we are going to import from types. And also, I'm going to assign the null because initially this one is going to be null. Okay, so we imported that. So user is a type and must be imported by saying here type. I think we are okay here. Then we say user value response data. Also, here instead of something like this, we can say just null. And uh, yeah, we are good. Save, refresh. I'm going to log out and let's go and log in with Tony at email.com. Add the password and let's say login. And we are directed back and we have Tony and Tony email here. Okay, friends, that's it all about this video. We just uh, move the logic for the types in a separate file and then whenever we want we can import and use them so for example in the login and register and also in the dashboard now for example login has only the login method and also the form here the same thing for the register the register method and also the form the dashboard has the get user and logout and we call this get user whenever we go here so if i inspect the element got a network and if i hit refresh as you can see we have this the get the user we are unauthorized now Let's go to storage, or if I just go, let's clean this and go to home, go to dashboard, yeah. 
Anytime we visit the dashboard, we hit this uh, get user. And we are going to fix that in the next video. Now, if you like such a video, friends, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.